Welcome to another episode of Neon Radio Podcast. I'm Reese. I'm Dan. I'm Trevor. Twist. I'm actually Declan. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, were you on your phone just before? Was that looking that up? No. Oh. I made it up because this is this movie tries to every Do single Die Hard movie does that because of the first one they keep yeah. doing and it really pissed me off in this <laughs> one they keep doing like oh we've I'm, got this really complicated it, plot to do yeah. this jokes we're actually just trying to steal money why <laughs> <laughs> why did we need that <laughs> all right <laughs> this week we're reviewing Declan's gonna rag on this movie <sighs> this week we're reviewing A Good Day to Die Hard the fifth in the Die Hard series franchise yeah um, before we get into it spoiler warning we spoil the movie's plot and characters and all the development and everything so if you haven't seen a good day to die hard probably doesn't matter so you can just continue listening to the podcast it really doesn't really matter too much anyway. yeah don't watch it <laughs> <laughs> i think you're gonna be the odd one out here man <laughs> i enjoyed it i knew it i knew it i enjoyed it anyway but what it is I, see, the thing is i don't classify these as die hard movies that's why i like them I, I can't put my head into it and say this is Die Hard. I wouldn't have liked this if it was anything. Oh, this yeah. was, this, this, this again, it remember I said great. last week it looked like an episode of NCIS? This looked like an episode of NCIS. Besides the big bombastic action sequences, yeah. otherwise, in other parts, I was just like, what the fuck am I watching? Yeah, I didn't mind it. Everything in... It, I'm with Declan on this one. Everything in the center of this, between, between shit that's cool, yeah. it's boring or cheesy. Yeah. I didn't want like to. super boring or cheesy? <laughs> is it? Is it? Is it? Anyway, all right, all right. So if if you don't want to, if you want to listen to the spoil free one, go to the YouTube channel and look at Neon Radio yeah. podcast. Now just putting Neon it Radio there, YouTube channel. I like this movie, right? Mm. But it's a it's a for me it's a past movie. So this is like a Wednesday. If I'm if I'm this is like your I, I I'm not going to say the rating. I a, want you to do the rating. This later. is a very low on my list. Yeah, passable action movie. That's right. all I'm going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. All right. Fair enough. Fair mm. enough. I can see that's probably where it's sitting for me. Yeah. It's probably sitting in the the it's just like you can put it on I guess, but who really cares? Like <laughs> like yeah. this like it's not like it's I enjoyed I actually end, enjoyed four. That was and how that it goes was in, fucking ridiculous. And how it goes ridiculous, water, but it was, was cool looking. It was a, it was a bit <laughs> It was a visual feast. I was so annoyed with the movie by that point. I was like, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> this one's going to be good. I can feel this episode getting better as we go it's along. It's understandable though. Because yeah. every time something happened in this, I'm like, this is bullshit. Oh my God. When we get through the plot, like as we're going through like the little moments, like man, there's the bullshit the barometer is going off the oh, beep, yeah. beep, beep, like beep, how does a little four wheel drive take on a fucking tra- tank I think I think the most egregious scene that really angered me the most was when they tried to do the callback to the Hans Gruber fall oh yeah and then he got yeah. chopped by the propeller yeah, I was, was like that is the worst fucking thing I've ever seen you tried to do a tribute and then you just fucking did something I knew you'd insane. hate that so and it was so violent <laughs> it was crazy as well as as, a daughter, as well like, as the odds of the vertical propeller hitting his oh. body. Yeah, and, the, and I the, can get it if the, the helicopter's down yeah. low and he's hitting the big span of space. Yeah. yeah. But it's the vertical propeller. Yeah, vertical it also it also um, like this. It also disintegrated uh, him. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't like those chunks. <laughs> Vaporized him. Yeah, he's it was gone. Like a, it was like a mist of blood. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Anyway, let's I'm Look, gonna go with you first, Declan. You get the first yeah. rain on this. Okay. Part. Um, Butcher it. This uh, movie <laughs> has the wrong title. <laughs> it it really should be does. called A Bad Day to Die a Long, Slow, Painful Death <laughs> for a series. You know what the fucking thing is? The shortest movie of the series. I know. Yeah. But it well, felt long. Uh, oh, for me, I thought this was a, a good length. Really? Yeah. I thought, yep, it's just enough. Bang. Done. I'm glad you're sticking with it. I'm glad yeah. you're not giving in. But you, if you like it, you like it. I'll, what I, say, I paused though, it with half an hour to go and I was like, you're fucking kidding me. <laughs> I want to. I want to say though. Yeah. They've got us. They've got to stop making these. And I know there's another one coming. Yeah. You kidding me? Think, yeah. There's six. Yeah. Oh, fuck off. But yeah. you know who's doing it? Len, yeah. Wy- um, Len Wise. Len Wise and one from four. Yeah. yeah. Still yeah. not interested. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I think they they have to they have to stop because. Do you know what would make me more interested in it? If finally John McClane is given a big. Why is there no one listening to him still? His own son. He's gone to Chernobyl <laughs> for this one. Like, but even the villain. Well, plot twist at the end. 
Yeah. Even he knew who John McClane was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> John McClane should have a mansion at this point. Why? Right. John McClane should, should have, like, he should I be know. getting back rubs and every day. He should have his own little spa. You, yeah. know, like- <laughs> you know why I got an extra point? I'll tell you why. Because the CIA, and let's say, I'll put them in the same boat as a freaking FBI. Mm. They're, they're in it for one second in this, and then the guy gets nice. shot in the head. Bang, Bang. gone. And I'm like, yes. Because <laughs> I shouldn't like, be in I didn't it. want to see it anymore. Yeah, that's right, and that's all I needed. Ball, I think that also off. think I'll a, that one. also yeah. think a major problem with this, like seriously, a major problem with this movie is the chemistry between Dry Courtney and Bruce oh, Willis is rubbish. Horrible. And really, all that I have no problem with Bruce Willis in this movie. He looks like he's having fun. But I don't even to be have honest a problem with Dry Courtney as an like. I think not, it's I don't I like Jai, I don't think Dry Courtney's bad in other movies. I think in this I just generally in this movie he's, given he's so fucking yeah. bland. He has yeah. a crew cut with a shaved Super face vanilla. he has no character he wears like plain leather jackets it's the most like generic thing you, you could know ever do with the character it reminds me of you know the, when video games start a brand new series yeah and the the main action character yeah yeah always almost looks the same yes yeah. they have yes. the stubble and the short hair yeah yeah that's exactly that, it just it. feels like that that's what it did feel like yeah and yeah. he was like I, I just was not on board with him I was like this is rubbish and it's a shame because they could have done something cool with it they yeah. could have found a way but and not only that but Bruce Willis <laughs> that's your face. as a father in this he's the, he's the epitome worst he's father. the epitome of toxic masculinity legit it's horrendous yep. bad <laughs> Like, an, this movie has not aged well. No, and it's like only a few years old, really. It's only like five or six years old, I think. When was it? 97, wasn't it? 2013. It's oh, seven, 2013. Oh, it's eight years old. Oh, far out. It's yeah. longer than I thought. Yeah. Um, I guess a lot has changed even then. But That's what I'm saying, though. It's like it's like bad. since then, we've had like a big... We've had like a cultural awakening about these sorts yeah. of things, right? Yeah. So, um, it's fine for men to cry. Yeah, it, it <laughs> well, that's pretty much what it is. Yeah. But it's just, um, it's just not. It's just nothing. This movie, like, I, I genuinely, yeah, it's a, for it's, like ten, five to ten minute stretches, was just like, fuck, I don't even know if I paid attention. <laughs> Genuinely, there was there was. I got to admit, there was a moment within the first chase scene that felt like it went for fucking years, like the car chase. Yeah, do you know? Do you where know, yeah. there was a moment there where I went, oh, that car oh, chase, something happened. That car chase goes for so long. Yeah, it gets it like long time. and the Ever. camera is so shaky. It's so hard to figure out where you are. Oh, I've written that down. Yeah, there's a lot. Of, it's a lot of. Hand there's only this. one good moment in that whole thing. And it's when the fucking truck goes off the thing and yeah, hits the yeah. cement pillar. But um, that's the yeah. only good moment. Do you know? Honestly, there was something, and I, I was like, I should rewind it to find out what happened because I stopped Could paying attention. But then I thought, no, it'd be funnier if I <laughs> just, just commit to it and on the podcast tell you guys <laughs> that, I, that I don't know. Don't know what happened. That, in that big moment. weird. Uh, steroid dude that gets introduced at the end with a tattoo on his face. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did he get killed? Because I stopped paying attention. I don't know what happened to him. <laughs> so, so what, happened is, like- what happened is they have this rolly tray yeah. and he put the grenade, grenade in, in the, the yeah. rolly tray, yeah. rolled it, yeah. and then because the place had all the bit? gas... <laughs> Stop paying attention. The place had all the <laughs> gas leaking. Yeah. yeah. The grenade went off yeah. and the whole place went up with the gas. Right. And then he went, what's in those grenades? That was it. Yeah, right. No, but the no. guy died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you didn't explain it probably there. That's what happened. So, he goes, what, what the fuck is in those grenades? So, Bruce and Jai are on one side of the room, right? Mm. And Bruce was in a perfectly perfectly placed no, out position. Out of bullets? Were they? Yeah. And he gets thrown me a grenade. And then right next to Bruce, when he's undercover, like undercover by the, by the boxes, there was a railway line for yeah. a cart yeah. that... It wasn't a railway line. It's just a cart because they were carting things around into the oh, building and out. It was like out. a little cart. Well, a cart. Basically, it's it was just like exactly a, where he was. Like a he took the grenade cart. and he pushed it and it magically appeared next to the villain on the other side of the room yeah. and blew up. Yeah, right. And the explosion <laughs> was so big. Actually, the stuntman in that, even if it was real or not, because it looked pretty real the to me. The explosion wasn't real. But, but when he's hiding behind the box and it comes flying Yeah, but that was just that really ins- good CG. Oh, that looked insane. There were, there were some, I'll give this. There were actually some moments in this movie where I did enjoy the action. Yeah, and I, was, I, I was, enjoyed the truck going off, hitting the pillar. Yeah. I was I, paying attention yeah. to the CG because I know your last episode you said that was oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. This one here, I couldn't really fault it. There, it was cool. It was a lot better, the car ride. Although the conversation wasn't better. <laughs> But yeah. the actual look of it was a lot better. Yeah. yeah, well, the one in number four was like... It was fucking horrible. Horrendous. Yeah. Um, but like this... Yeah, just the Sorry, story... Your no, you're right. Yeah. The story and like just the characters were so... Even like John McClane was like... He was bored to me. 
Yeah, Bruce Willis doesn't give a fuck about anything mm. anymore. Yeah, <laughs> he's like Harrison Ford. But I, he's I had less. Look. But I had not much of a problem with him because he's just Bruce Willis and he can get away with just doing his shtick. Do yeah. Wants, yeah. Um, but I felt almost felt sorry for Jai Courtney that this was like his first leading mm. role kind of thing. That, yeah. That he this had to be the thing that he mm. got because you look at him playing like Captain Boomerang, Suicide so Squad, good. and he's got range. And I'm not gonna lie. I cannot remember him at all in that movie. Yeah. He's he's probably the Dude, better part of that so movie. Bad. It's not a good movie, but he he <laughs> yeah. he at least is a character. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's a character in that movie, mm. you know. Like so. And what he other, was. What other movies was he in? Um. He looks. You know I feel what? like I in this know. movie they were just like they're Let's like. <laughs> do you know? Do you know when this movie came out too? Twenty thirteen. We're not long after the a- Avatar. Kyle Reese. Yeah, Where's yeah. Kyle Reese in Terminator. Really? He is. Salvation. Yeah. That's on oh, a Genesis. Genesis. Yeah. So, Genesis. Yeah. That was a shit. But so movie. um he's they're all shit. Basically, this is like not long. They would have filmed this oh, 2013. Man, what a shame. They would have filmed this not long after the Avatar boom and they would have just been like, yeah, he's Australian and he looks a little bit like Sam Worthington. You know what? That's he's what, a he's a much better actor than Sam Worthington. Yeah, but he doesn't he better. look like him. He looks heaps like him. Yeah. And he can he can put on an American accent way better than Sam Worthington. Yeah, I'm not, I'm just saying though, that's what they yeah. that's yeah, what they I could for. see him do something in Avatar and work through it mm. better than Sam Worthington. Sam Worthington's very bland. Mm. Super bland. He was fine for Avatar. But yet again, I come back to the the concept of the video game guy. Yeah. But That's what he feels like in Avatar. I yeah. think that that was purposeful because they wanted you to pay more attention to the uh, Navi. Everything around. Him. And when yeah. he's a blue yeah. Navi oh. rather than he's a human. That's true. Um, so, yeah. Sorry, you guys go with your... Yeah, yeah. Dad, you, you already sort of did yours, didn't you? Yeah. It's... Look, I... I'll just go through it. So, I just, the action scenes were awesome. I thought they were, they were cool. Um, again, I'm going to this movie. I can't, I can't picture Die Hard in this movie, <clears throat> these movies anymore. That's why I'm just looking at it as just an action movie. Mm. Um, which will lead me to the our video review of the title, which yes. I won't give out yet. Yeah. Um, yeah. So basically, oh, that's the other thing. I said it's ludicrous because a visitor in a in a, a Russian country, so it's American. Oh, are you kidding Russian, me? Yeah. Automatically gets accepted from that stupid um, uh, song that the other Russian was singing. Yeah. Like, that'll probably never ever happen. Yeah. Um, yeah. They don't really like. And Americans, he, he which just, is understandable. Yeah. And he just has, well, there's this that whole Cold War thing, but yeah. he has free reign in the country to do whatever he wants. There's no police in there at mm. all. And he's just taking cars. That is another thing. Yeah. Where are I'll the police in a lot of these moments? Yeah. There's yeah. No, nothing. There's not one. Like if you see these chases in those European movies, mm. there's always cops. At least following yeah. along. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you'd hope if there was a chase like that happening in the oh, world, yeah. the cops would be onto it. Yeah. It was like a. It was like Bruce Willis came into a, an open sandbox game. Yeah. And just stole a car in Grand Theft Auto and just went crazy. Yeah. yeah. That's what it was like to me. Yeah. Um, and yeah. Oh, I have put death in the death in the chopper blade. Ha ha ha. <laughs> um, yeah. I said it missed a lot of one-liners. There was a few, but not enough. And I said, Jai, Jai is okay, but not a leading man. He kept his no. thing. That he kept going back to was. I'm on fucking vacation. Yeah. I'm supposed to be on vacation. That was going to be my uh, opening line. You didn't do it? Yeah, I didn't. Even, I even his whole... Just just things like... That's going to be my end line. Where, where he's sitting there with his son and he's like, you know what? It's been a rough day, but I've had lots of fun. I'm like, fucking... You fell from a building. Mm. A Into building. a perfectly placed pool. Yeah. A- not even that. Yeah, Before that, he oh, fell yeah, through yeah. the thing. Oh, you know, in the they are falling through the where they throw their shit from the top. Of yeah, the roof, he those, looks those like tunnels. that. Looks like it's at an angle. Oh yeah, but it's yeah, straight yeah. fucking yeah, down. It's straight down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, come that would just on, man. break yeah. because it's yeah. not for humans. It's where they throw all the debris, debris and rubbish from building. Oh, <laughs> and actually, I did notice there was a cop car there, but nobody in it, and no cops anywhere. Yeah. I just so where were they? Don't know, At mate. the very least, well, I think they just put gonna, it in to make it the last I'm not going to try and explain and defend this movie. You were <laughs> fucking damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Declan, did you actually watch this movie? I did. Yeah. I, just, I, I just thought it, I just thought <laughs> it would be <laughs> funnier if I committed to the not paying attention yeah, to parts. Yeah. Oh, man. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's my notes. What do you think? Um, look, <laughs> this movie bugged me. It bugged me because I actually thoroughly enjoyed Die Hard 4. I thought it was, at the very least, intriguing that they went on the whole, the route that it was like a a computer-based type of concept. Uh, I liked that they went a little crazier, but it was just enough to feel like, you know, we're not going fucking mental. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like 
the jet scene at the end was, that, that was just enough because that's so crazy hmm. but it's just just the like it's almost like they put a cherry this one here it's mental they have yeah, helicopters shooting 50 cals into a building yeah that was insane and nothing's it's not hitting them but it was because it was just shooting in a straight line for like it felt like five for minutes ages. it was just like but but even when they blew up the courtroom in the beginning everyone's pretty much all unconscious the, and, except for those two the, and they're yeah. going they're going into chernobyl yeah. and kicking up what is pretty much radioactive dust nah, everywhere you can, you can go in there now yeah but not not like that yeah, the, you can. the amount of dust and shit they used to take all that soil and put it into another location on on the planet. Yeah, and I read up. Uh, they got a concrete dome over that by then. It doesn't matter. You still can't go that close, man. It's gonna you're gonna but get you radi- can, radioactive oh, poisoning. You, you'll get right, yeah, but it's not not harmless. I, either way, and then they come in with like stupid random like yeah, this will dumb. get rid of radiation. Yeah, it's stupid. like it's bullshit. I wonder if that's real though. It isn't. Have you looked it up? I looked it up. It's not real. <laughs> okay, all right. It's there's nothing it's like on planet Earth that yeah. get gets rid of radiation like that. Yeah, that so makes sense. Otherwise, when, as soon as they went in there and she said about how much the uranium was worth, I was like. Are they going to do another fucking? We're actually just robbing money. To us. I was like, why is this? Why is that the staple takeaway from Die Hard, though? Like, why is that the thing that they all keep doing? I don't they understand. It's things. not even that. It wasn't even that good in the first movie. It was like it's one of the do least you, memorable things about do the first something, movie. Like originally, the story for the first movie was they were actually terrorists. Yeah, and then they had to change it because they were like, well, throw off I the guess, scent a little yeah. bit. Yeah. yeah, but I mean. You can make them actually terrorists, but that was that. Like, the, you the, don't whole have reason, to. the whole reasoning of them changing it was actually smart because it was like, where um, no, we're terrorists and we need you to get a helicopter out because we're doing this. Yeah, but then what they're doing, they're like, we're actually just robbing, and that helicopter is going to help us escape. Yeah, like, it's actually like a, it just makes concept. sense. Yeah, but in the other ones, it's no, there's no reason for it. Like I said, in number three, that was like the disappointing thing for me was like, why did. We, why did it need to be a heist in the end? Like, why couldn't it just have been him mm. messing with John McClane? And, and four. Even, why yeah. can't four Same. be yeah. just like, this is, we're trying to say something. Yeah, exactly. And and that's it. Number number five, like, at this point, it really would make sense that somebody wants to fuck with John McClane. Yeah. That would have been a perfect plot device for someone to yeah. just be like, hey, John McClane, I'm taking your kids hostage. Mm. You got to come and save them. Yeah, why are the kids like in there? No, no. I, I don't is- know. I don't know. When it comes to this whole, like, you know jack or john yeah his name's actually john, john in it, mm. it when it comes jack to- the whole time yeah i'm like yeah. i don't think anyone called john actually gets called jack i've never I known have, anyone that's uh, john being called jack yeah, i have heard that personally. before i think in a metal gear solid game <laughs> that's weird yeah either way but um, i don't understand how and not only that how the fuck did he become a cia agent without john like, Oh, out of actually, all I of the said people, that though. my girlfriend reckons your family's not allowed to know if you are a CIA agent. Yeah, but out of all the people, yeah, John McClane's son. Why wouldn't John McClane be asked? Really, really. At this point, yeah. you're right. You know uh, what? It's weird. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, uh, can you weird. can you run the CIA, please? Because <laughs> you keep thwarting all these super villains. Yeah, like- yeah. And, you, and he's obviously better than his son. <laughs> I, either way, this movie bugged the shit out of me. Mm. It, and it's because of... It's mainly... It's not even the action scenes. The action scenes are bearable. And you there's know, moments in it you know, I actually do thoroughly enjoy with the action yeah. scenes because it's like a visual feast. Mm. You know what, man? I think I maybe like this movie because you said this movie is really bad. And maybe, I walked into maybe it with a real bad with mindset. Like super low. Yeah. And I went, oh. It's not, it's not as bad, bad as you thought. Yeah. Fair mm. enough. I went but, into it thinking it's going to be bad and uh, I was well, disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> it was exactly what I thought it was going to hey, be. Hey, what did you think of the, the carrot and the tap dancing? Oh, that was... I said I said <laughs> so to my girlfriend funny. while I was watching it, I was like, this is the most brazen it's, attempt it's weird. to make the character more interesting yeah. I've ever seen. Like, he's eating a carrot, like oh, trying yeah, to give him yeah. like character and then he's dancing. Yeah. I was like, this is just not working. It's, it's like, not working. Uh, it's like compare that to uh, the opening of... Um, in glorious I was going to say the same the thing just in the middle it, it's so it's it's like, it, it doesn't yeah. it's, it's so same. forced in yeah. this and that's like it's it's really like it shows how hard writing a scene like that is oh, yeah, right yeah, like it's yeah. not easy mm. and I'm not trying to say like it's but it's brazen yeah. in this movie you know what it because it comes out of nowhere because yeah. I, I watched it not long ago again because I've been doing a bit of a dive on Far uh, Cry Far Cry you know the, the game oh but one of the best introductions to a character is Vaz in Far Cry 3. I haven't played that one. Fantastic. He's the, the, He's the one that goes, do you know if there's a definition, you know the definition of insanity? Oh, I can't remember. Do you ever play that one? 
So he comes in and goes, do you know the definition of the insanity? It's when you do something over and over again and expect a different result. And then he goes through all this thing. He goes, I didn't believe it when I heard it. And it's just a conversation. It's the same type of thing happening in this movie mm. where he's conversing with the good guy and you're trying to get that cool moment. Mm. But in that, he converses with me. He does all this thing. He, he goes through it and he goes, I kept seeing things happen over and over again. You know what? He goes, and I started to believe that, yeah, everything's insane. Mm. And then he gets angry. He goes, are you looking at me funny? You're doing, he's doing all this stuff. And then he goes, hey, did I ever tell you the definition of insanity mm. again? Yeah, right. And it was a really cool way to introduce a, a good writing yeah, yeah, for yeah. that type of character. You know when they play those games? <laughs> I'm just like... You get through that. It's just all the same shit. You just want to, you just just want want to shoot fight. the next animal yeah, and get the yeah. next upgrade. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I finished Phoenix Rising too, by the way. Already? Man, I was going to say, that boss at the end, it took me like an hour to beat him. Yeah. There you go. Well, we'll get to it. Um, it was freaking hard. Yeah, so by the end was of it... Was it Die Hard? It was harder than Die Hard. <laughs> You're really putting your back to the camera at this point. In time. It was harder than Reese's <laughs> Willy. Oh yeah! Wow! 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 That's wow, gross. wow! 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> that's a handbrake. Yeah, that's a handbrake. <laughs> um, yeah. No, this movie, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you'd like it. No, I I enjoyed moments. Like I enjoyed the truck going off. I enjoyed them falling from the building with the stupid helicopter. I enjoyed moments okay so your score should be below a five then why because you didn't enjoy it well i enjoyed moments this is a type of movie that i would like this is the most background of background movies you could put like this is look at his face fucking the one that you put on and you leave it there and you do shit and then you go oh and then you continue doing shit like you never just what you don't watch it you just kind of glance this is the glance film that's what okay. i did i'm keen to hear <laughs> i'm keen to hear your score my friend yeah 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 i'm glad all right let's move on with it <laughs> why do you always do that not at me it's like when you, you, you little... say something to reese and then you look at me and you go mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's, i think it's a, a laurel and hardy thing so yeah. used to do that used to... <laughs> okay getting into the thoughts um, the opening of this movie is super green. Mm. The grade in this at the start is so green. I wrote that teal. Like <laughs> that was a that was a thing back then. <clears throat> but what the hell? And a like, Vimeo thing. Mm. Like yeah. Russia is blue. Yeah, is a blue green. Yeah. So you're always like it's always like you're sort of safer really when you're grading to just do the natural look. Just do the really, color. aren't you? Just to make it the way that it is yeah. instead of like. When you commit to these fads and styles, it just really dates it. Yeah, it dates, yeah. Yeah, and look, I'll, I don't mind things like later on when there's like the helicopter scene in the in the thing, the, the vibrancy of that colouring, mm. that's fine. But when it's just an over-the-head shot of Russia and you're trying to just be like, guess what, Russia sucks. Mm. That's what it's trying to say. That's pretty much what it's trying to say. Brutal. It's like, it's an it is movie. though. <laughs> it's like, it's... It's blue green and it looks like everything is deathly mm. dead. Yeah, yeah. And and like everyone is sad. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> That's what they use the film technique to make things look cold. But it's just it like it looks so cold that it looks like everyone just hates himself. That's what I think anyway. Um and uh opening feels like <laughs> 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 You're like looking at me. So I feel like I feel like we're right, just. I always try to see if I can make you break. <laughs> so I'm looking at you. I feel so out of place when you guys do this. I'm like, do I steer the show? Continue it. It's just a confirmation. It's just a. Uh, it's just like a reflex room. We used to work together, and we'd be like on sets and stuff. And someone would say something, we'd both just be like, "What the fuck." <laughs> <laughs> I did it. At, um, sorry, this is a sidetrack, but I did it at work like, like about six months ago. It would have been now with me, and the two guys in my crew had like this inside joke about this other guy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to say what it was, but um, he he started talking this guy, and he said something that sort of like referenced the inside joke that we had. Me and the uh, me and one of the other guys made eye contact with each other. He just goes, "We're in a we're in a crib room, a crowd of people." He yeah. just goes. <laughs> 
and buries his head. And then I started laughing, but I, I was like, I can't bury my head too because that makes it like really weird. So I'm sitting there with my back to him just going like, <laughs> like trying to silently it. laugh and then the other member of my crew is just like I'm not fucking looking at you I'm not fucking looking at you like, we, we went for like 10 minutes <laughs> how good are those laughs though? they're the best they're man. the best remember, yeah. that, remember that time they're the painful ones yeah <laughs> oh my god oh my god um alright <laughs> bit like this movie uh, yeah this movie okay Die Hard um I don't even know if it matters anymore <laughs> I feel like do we continue um I was going to say the opening feels like a Bond or Mission Impossible film with the music and organizations. But, sorry, but, that was a question I had. Did When did Rogue Nation come out? The Mission Impossible um, I can tell you that. Probably would have been cut around. Was that, that fourth? fourth? Which was the fourth one? Rogue Nation was... Yeah, just before two years. No, which, two years after. Which two was, years after. Which was, was that number four? No, I think number four was... Which is, Rogue Nation is that the one that Rogue they, Nation was the they drive the car and then manage to buy something? Oh, Rogue Nation is the really was when it really stepped it. up, wasn't it? And yeah. there was one before Rogue Nation, wasn't there? Yes. So Ghost yeah. Protocol, yes. was 2011. Yeah, that's what this movie was trying to copy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, hundred yeah. percent. Even the look of it in yeah. moments was so. Except that did it just so much better. And oh. the thing, this, <laughs> this is the thing. They, Ghost Protocol looks good. Whoever's writing these movies, they're trying to make McLean. To be like a, you know, like a, or obviously not a cop, because there's no cops that'll do this. I've said this from the beginning. No way. This is he's like a secret, like he's like a Bond. No, but that's he's that's, supposed to be like a guy from the Bronx. That's yeah. that's the problem with the, the carrying this franchise on without evolving McLean as a character. Yeah. Like obviously he's a real staunch, mm. set in his ways guy, but keeping him as a beat cop still to this day yeah. in this movie it doesn't work. There's so a fundamental ridiculous. like wrong there because yeah. it doesn't work like yeah. it's ridiculous that it he would still sense. be a beat cop at this point yeah. like again, all the things that he's done you look at Fast and the Furious I keep bringing it back because it's the only series no, I but, can think that does the same thing yeah but I would Guys say but robbing the, DVD players actually, no, actually, superheroes but, but, but the the Fast movies it they just committed to it they I didn't guess try to, right. they didn't try to they just they were went, like they're superheroes after Tokyo now. Drift they were just like you know everything about them being like DVD robbers uh, forget about it. Yeah, I guess these you're guys right. are basically that's the true. Avengers now. That's but that's what they did. They and they just did it. They just committed to it. Yeah, and they see, didn't. I, that I, is true. I hate that they movies. just jumped through. Fucking I'm not a big balls. fan of them either. But I like I this would, better than I would, the other one, even though it's oh, the same sort of thing. I would argue that the Fast movies do a way better job than these movies do now. The last, I'd say, yeah, I'd say that, at least this one I just, here. I just don't like how they do the action things. This is just, to me, it's way more realistic. Well, this is how I explain the Fast and Furious action. You got two. What is it called? toys mm. and you know kids go pew, 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 yeah, with the toys it. and then they go and they yeah. fall them off that's fast and furious yeah. that's fast but that's, <laughs> that's fast that's physics yeah. but yeah. i would i would say it does it does a better job and i would, I would even say that like i, I don't like them but the, I, character development i'm more into the well. character development in the fast franchise than these yeah, movies I'll, I'll give them that for sure but yeah. i was gonna say but mission impossible is the is oh, the that's, peak that's, that's yeah. you're not beating that like, yeah yeah to me mission impossible's since three, at least, it's, yeah. It's, I would I, three for me was a bit of uh, it's a lull compared to the new really? ones. Really? Yeah, I actually I, don't yeah. Mind I, I like three more than Rogue and Ghost Protocol. Really? Yeah. What's the, what's the last one with um, Fallout? That defined. Yeah, that was that was so good, man. Yeah. But that's my number one. It's amazing. Yeah, it's yeah. damn Mission good. Impossible. Um, I feel like I say. Oh yeah, you know how we're talking about the uh, character development for um for uh fuck, I was gonna say Bruce Wayne, Bruce Willis, right? And, yeah. <laughs> John McClane. Yeah. He would suit like Gerard Butler and like White House Down and all that. See, so if, if, so he's more believable, that character there. Yeah, like, as, but that's you know what we said I mean? before. Why isn't he like guarding the president? Yeah, that's yeah. what Die Hard should be now. And that's what that yeah. movie does well. White House like, Down again, should be the, Die Hard 5. I enjoy that. <laughs> well, why I enjoy why did it have to be this forced <clears throat> John McClane was a bad dad? He's got this strained relationship with his son. Why couldn't it have been like. He has a good relationship with his son. Why couldn't it have been like, or, dad, like, oh, well, I couldn't do that. Jack, like, I haven't heard from you in a while. I'm I in need trouble. Your help. I need your help. Yeah. yeah. That would have been much better. Yeah. yeah. Why couldn't it have been that? But again, you still, <laughs> but again, you still couldn't believe it. Because and then John, the, the tension and, could have been that Johnny's like, I told you I didn't want yeah. you in this life. Like, yeah. I've lived, that you know, better, that's, yeah. that's that more interesting. More, yeah. yeah, because yeah. by the end of it, he's like, why do we do this? Because we like killing people. Yeah. 
Yeah. Literally, yeah. like literally, almost says that. That's so weird, yeah. Oh no, no like, it could have been the classic thing where, like, like John goes, like, like, why'd you do this, Jack? Like, I told you not to get into this life, and he'd be like, because who else is going to do it? That's the whole thing yeah, that John McClane is. Who else is going to do it? Yeah. So and why like, couldn't why couldn't that? Have, that's just weird. Uh, yeah. yeah, I see that. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, moving on with this thing. There's too many notes here. I'm just going to jump between them. Yeah, that's <laughs> um. Uh, another useless to begin with another useless villainess like it they keep bringing in villainesses she, look, this one here is the first speak. one and they barely speak I, yeah yeah. She look she's basically in there this is, we're going back times have changed she's in there for eye candy that, that's to begin thing. with and you, and you then, see it on the screen actually yeah they do make yeah. it blatantly yeah. like you know get undressed from yeah. a tight leather yeah because as soon as it's happening suit. here we go yeah yeah um uh, I have here the most generic action film opening ever. Is it Triple X? Is it Point Break? Which yeah. Point Break is better even than that? So it has that weird. Just the opening is just super boring. Yeah. Um, What's this John uh, Travolta thing? What? Oh yeah, that's the opening yeah. in the prison. Is that right? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 It is boring. Yeah, it's super boring. It was so. It's so weird to start a movie in a franchise with mm. two characters we've never met before talking about something we know nothing about, yeah, and they're nothing. being mysterious. Yeah. Yeah. It was like it was trying to be Magneto and Xavier with yeah. the chess game. It was really weird. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. It was. I was like, what? What is going on here? It was, feels like you know where they're like, we're on radar screen. We're yeah. like, you know, like they're just the idea of like that opening, that cold opening of just like things are happening in government. <laughs> I, I said to yeah. my girlfriend too in the in the car chase sequence when they cut to the CIA headquarters and they're all looking at screens and they're like now do this now do this I was like I was like nothing kills a sequence worse than cutting to a control room yeah I oh, fucking hate oh, it when they do I hate that, that. Yeah. and you know who's the king of doing that Michael Bay yeah yeah, yeah. Michael it, Bay it, does it, it really in everything it yeah. really kills the groove it destroys it that's why me and Just my friends always continue. have that joke that Josh Duhamel is like the most underpaid like soldier in history in the Transformers <laughs> movies because he's, he's on the front lines heaps yeah. like he's on the front lines fighting the, the Decepticons and stuff and then next thing he's like running the control room I'm like what's his job <laughs> <laughs> what's he doing is he a millionaire now <laughs> like, is that- um, the cab guy is the worst padding in a movie I've ever yeah, seen I didn't, oh. I didn't like that scene that they, were, they were trying so to call forced. back to him in the limo with um, yeah Argyle Goff- Oh, oh god! Yeah, it was never. Gonna they were trying to do same. a lot of callbacks yeah. to like yeah. the first one, but yeah. I feel I feel like this was really bad at callbacks, and I find that Die Hard Four was quite good at it. Yeah, it was like, like the whole like getting he's getting into the car to it was take awkward. take mm. out the helicopter. Mm. In the other one, he's like, "Go on to you know, go to mm. this place, just pick up this guy." You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. That felt great, and then yeah. that so that scene was just awkward, <sighs> and it's and it was too forced. It's like they're stuck in Super traffic. Forced. They've used it twice. It's they're stuck in traffic, and then you know the building happened to be right next to that place, and they used when that chick, he what's what's the what they call the that road? It keeps um, getting congested. Oh, the circle or something. Oh yeah, yeah the one that's that, yeah. that area. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and yeah, uh, they have a name. The circuit. It makes, the circuit you know, some or something. Yeah. Yeah. And I use that for that as well. It's like. <laughs> That was a stupid plot point. I would have been, I'd be, see, that scene to me would have been way more interesting when I was watching it. You know, when John McClane started questioning her when he was like, how'd you get here? And she was like, yeah, oh, yeah. And he's like, isn't that really busy? Yeah. It would have been more interesting if they were like, she was pretending to be freaked out and stuff. And then all of a sudden, John McClane was just like, they're like, give me the thing. And he's like, no, I don't think we're going to give it. And he points his gun at her. Mm. And then all of a sudden, the villains are like, we don't care. And he's like, okay, well, maybe I'll just shoot it. Then he like cocks the gun and like his son is freaking out too. Like, what the fuck are you doing? And then yeah. it turns out he's right. Yeah, because John McClane yeah, had been they, in these situations they, and he's figured it out. Yeah, yeah. they missed the ball. Another, that. like, it just seemed like he, he seemed it, dumb in this movie. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Think, but he I was, think but he was onto going. something. He was, he had, he's, he was yeah, on he, the scent there, and yeah. then it just was irrelevant. Well, they tried to make him the wise guy at the start. Yeah, they, they wanted he. I think it's like a father son thing. So I think he just wanted his son to make a mistake, which not make a mistake to learn from a mistake. Yeah, that sounds better. But it doesn't work in a situation because it's like a life and death thing. Mm. Like, would you let your son make a wrong decision and he's gonna could die? It's yeah. dumb. Well, he has. He's tried. They tried to do this thing where they make him laid back, and I kind of liked it to begin with. Where they, you know, he sees his son, and he's like, you know, Jack, you're only making this worse, yeah. you know, and that type of thing. And he's like, come on, man, just. He's trying to be more like you know. I've gone through this shit before. Don't you know? Don't have to do this. So, yeah, you know, yeah. Calm down. Just come in. You know. And then but by the end of it, you're just like, by the end of it, you're just like, dude, <laughs> yeah. shit's hectic. Yeah. Just. You know, like, you, yeah. like you're wise in this scenario. Yeah. Be smarter. Like, yeah. 
this just isn't laid back anymore. This no. is bad. <laughs> What's going on is bad. Yeah. yeah. It's, this is like, again, it's still a pass for me, just, but it's, it's a lazy, it's a lazy. lazy. It's a cookie cutter it. story. Yeah. 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 Um, I do like the courthouse explosion. I did think that was really cool. That the actual, how it shot and how like violent it was, yeah, was, was really good. great. But this is the thing. This is, it's like, I like scenes, mm. like, not not even full scenes, just shots. I like mm. shots from the movie. Yeah. Um. Uh, it feels like it was filmed in like a higher frame rate. Yeah, moments. I would agree with that. Yeah, like it was like super clear but frenetic. Do you know what really threw me off one in the car chase sequence was when Jack goes past him and he says on the phone to the daughter, "Oh, I'm looking at him right now." Yeah. But Jack was in slow motion, but they were talking in normal speed yeah all over the top and then it went back to it was really i don't yeah. know i found it really odd i found when that explosion went off like again explosion's cool but i just felt like when they were editing this right mm. it was like they just added a background hysterical people track yeah because yeah, there was no the sound, sound. Yeah. there was no one there yeah yeah there was like yeah and, what and, was that, that, about? and that took me out i thought Man, there was like a shitload of people on the outside. There was protesters and all that stuff. And some of this bomb thing goes off. And where is everyone? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'd be hectic. Everyone would be like, ah. There'd yeah, be like when you see or, the, you know, you know, that terrible thing happened in 9-11. Yeah. It was freaking chaos. Yeah, everyone was outside freaking out. Yeah. No, I, I don't but, know, yeah, and you know, maybe they, they do the same thing. So you want chaos, not just a backing track going, ah, like that. Yeah, exactly. Can't see anyone. Um. The truck hits in the street. There was a moment where the big, like the big truck, the main, like, what is it? Like almost armored truck with the mm. thing at the top. Mm. I don't know what it's called. Was going down the street and you're watching the cars part ways because like, obviously they, they were parked and it was going straight through the center of it. I swear to God on my life, those cars were being moved before the truck was hitting it. There was moments at that point where the truck wasn't hitting the cars, that someone was like, there were like, I don't know, pulley systems that yeah. were pulling it to make it look like it before it even hit. And I was, it was so obvious. Yeah. Super, super obvious. Um, I will say, I will give one props though to the stunt driver in the little blue car. Oh, I wrote it that's down. Get, that I wrote gets down. hit. Yeah. And you can see him moving around in the car and yeah. you're like, holy shit, who's <laughs> uh, in that? Yeah. I'm going to mention him later on. Really? Yeah. Why's that? Oh, you'll see. Okay. Um, yeah, when uh, McLean flips the car and doesn't get a scratch on him at all. Yeah, it's typical. But, I mean, he went... He rolled so many times. You know, man, after... The, he's probably, what, 50, 60, maybe, this movie. The amount of problems he would have with his yeah. body. In, uh, in real... Like, if you're talking about movie life, he'd be, like, a quadriplegic or something. <laughs> <laughs> Arthritis, this, and... <laughs> Internal bleeding, we're, that he'd be wrecked. We're really getting into the. This is back to the Fast and Furious. We're getting into that realm now with what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. but bizarrely, they don't just like, they don't just commit to that. They still want to make out that yeah. he's like the beat cop that just is yeah. like haggard. Yeah. But then he does crazy shit all the yeah. time. Like he, he, I was laughing because you know that, the last slow mo shot when they jump out the window and he gives yeah. it the finger and everything. Oh, oh yeah, 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 he's, yeah, he is like Bruce Willis is not running quickly. <laughs> He yeah. looks like he's got arthritis as he's running out the window. And yeah. I was like, yeah, this isn't working. I could just on the middle finger That's thing. just from doing the movies. Yeah. Not even from doing <laughs> yeah. it in real life. No. So, <laughs> Are you wouldn't the chase and Jai in the car? Yeah. And they're getting pummeled by this tank thing. As a CIA agent, who's going to do this to the camera? Uh, yeah. to, to the guy. Yeah. And I'm like, what the hell was no. that? <laughs> Did you find that heap weird? Yeah. Yeah, he d- yeah, he gave him the finger yeah. and they were like laughing. It was really weird. Yeah, that there was, was a, I didn't mind the whole the next moment though, where they do the slow mo and they see each other, and McLean's just like, "Yeah, that was cool." Like, like that was a now s- I got to do this, yeah. you know? Like, oh, that was a sick camera shot, man. It was. It was quite yeah. good. I, I quite man, liked I was, it. I was thinking, how the hell they do that? And but I do think that he and he does do the McLean thing mm. of like, what what way can I get rid of this truck? This is how I'm going to do it, which means I've got to put myself in jeopardy. Yeah. But I do think that it was unbelievable. Though. It's so unbelievable. <laughs> He flipped the car again <laughs> and got out unscathed again. Uh, you got a, you could probably <laughs> like a th- van of like two minutes. You probably got like a three ton tank compared to a one ton vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Um, I'll say this as well. The music stings in this movie fucking suck. 
They. I can't remember the music. Maybe either. It's, I never remember you know, the music. How does Die Hard not have a theme? Yeah. I keep saying it. This should be it was a the symphony. Thing. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the symphony. Symphony yeah. trilogy or quadrilogy or whatever. Quin, yeah. uh, quintilogy. And they have a moment where Ode to Joy, his his ringtone at the start yeah. of oh, the movie. I didn't notice that. Yeah. And I'm like, this. Why is this not like continued on? Why is this? Why don't you have each movie have its own mm. like theme? This was the worst at it. Really, I, this movie made me really like. I said it before with the trying to copy the falling of Gruber with the villain at the end. Yeah. But it also made, there was like, it was so weird that they decided to use this villain to do callbacks to Gruber when he was nowhere near the level of villain that Gruber was. Yeah. Like no way. When, you know when he tr- did the thing where he pretended he was in trouble, like Gruber did. Yeah, I was yeah. Like, oh my god, it's I was horrible. Like, no, you can't do this with this guy. Mm. You cannot do this. Yeah. <laughs> Not only that, but the whole like, he went from like, <coughs> yeah, <coughs> yeah, and you're yeah. like, dude. Fucking you! Yeah. I was like, this guy it is not horrible. Gru- Don't do that! Don't do that! It, it's <laughs> fucking horrible. It didn't look good at all. To me, Die Hard should have just been a one-off. Yeah, Bang. finished. That's in, basically in when I rank my movies. Are basically just like it's basically Die yeah. Hard one, and then the yeah. lots the of unwanted children. Okay, actually, on this, I'm going to give you two scores: one for itself and one and one for Die yeah, Hard. Yeah, that's what I should do. As in, as, as if it's in the Die, die Hard. hard yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. All right. Um. Uh. The. I'll say it. The truck off the bridge was really cool. They cut the music for the moment. They did the whole... I now call it the JJ. last Jedi moment. Oh, I call it, it's a JJ. The, the JJ. JJ thing, yeah. Why JJ? Because I think he was the first one, well, to me anyway. In he what? did it in Lost. He did it in Star what, Trek. Where they cut the music. Cut and the then... music and just let the action play out. When Started was that in? Lost in... heaps of times. Oh, I got it. I'd have to re- yeah, man. recheck That's a JJ it. thing. That because was weird in the trucks, though, wasn't it? Yeah. In that truck section, when they cut the sound out. They cut the sound, and then I he didn't goes, like it. You really? Nah. Mission Impossible. It was I so weird. I didn't mind that. I, it was jarring to me. Really? It wasn't like a cool. I don't know. I just was. Like, it it wasn't like, Last Jedi it, style, like. No, that was that was impactful was in the so Last good. Jedi. Yeah. Um, oh, when yeah. the light speed. Thing. Yeah, that was yeah. In, that was like heaps of people hated that. They I did, but the I thought too. I yeah. to be, like they say that, but I saw I saw that movie a couple of times in the cinema. And both time it caused a widespread gasp yeah. across this. It actually, even room. there was, I think, in the cinema, I was like, I did hear it. Oh. Fuck. Yeah. In the background. That was like that <laughs> if was. I remember correctly. That was impactful. Yeah. It was built up to that moment. In that, it was just there was just too it much was. happening in the car chase already. That yeah. I was like, yeah, was this gone. too. Was like, <laughs> yeah. Um, just on that. Yeah. You don't you don't get that feeling if you're not watching that in the cinema. No. And yeah. Yeah. And I hope I hope this whole COVID thing doesn't bring the death of cinema. Yeah, that's a complete different conversation. Yeah, but yeah. it definitely is something that. Because I remember those moments, you don't get that anywhere. It's like when you go to a concert or, you know, you just don't uh, get the same feeling. After, we, I don't think anyone knows what a, the post COVID world is going to look like once yeah, this no. vaccine well, rolls they, out. You they know, reckon so. it's going to be here for a long time. With, with with things like Marvel and Star Wars, the, the main movies, uh, they are more of an enjoyment to experience in the cinema. There's they no are. doubt about that. Yes. Yeah, especially, uh, you know. I like when I go to the movies. It has to be a packed cinema. Mm. Mm. Um, I felt there was a, a, a moment in this that was really uh, they didn't go hard enough on it. They shoot the glass on the ceiling. That was a callback to Die Hard One too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But nothing happens really, dude. I'm it, like, why the yeah, fuck isn't happened. the glass no. shards just sh- like that? Was the going crazy through thing. people? It just turns yeah. into powder on them. Yeah. yeah, it was blatantly fake glass. Like, it, I was just like, this is insane. Why yeah. did they even do this? No, there's no, there was no payoff. It would have been if this movie's it was already cool scene, no payoff. This movie's already gone ham. Like it's going crazy. Why not just have the shards just fucking slicing yeah. them up? Hundred percent. At this point in time, mm. just enjoy it. Hey, is it, well, why couldn't Bruce also said something like, "Thank God I got shoes on this time." Yeah, or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would have worked. Yeah, just something, you know, like t- tuck your, I don't know, tuck your pants in your shoes or something. Like, I don't know, <laughs> just anything, just make it work. Um. Uh. Yeah. So now this is my biggest problem with the movie, by far. He belittles his son. Oh, it's that's incredible how yeah. big it is. Like, like I mean, he has that moment where he goes, "Oh." You're just gonna go back home. Yeah. You're just gonna go back home and, and sit in your little little place. And How not to be a dad 101. That was <laughs> That's horrendous. I was watching it and I'm like, is this fucking happening? Yeah, it was crazy. It was. Uh, I could not believe my eyes and I, that uh, with my ears that I could hear and yeah. see this shit happening on the screen. Yeah, I <sighs> did not understand it, mm. and I don't think like John McClane. Yeah, sure. It starts off with that whole like in the series, he's like a rough, tough. 
New York cop. But he's even with Lucy McLean, he's a he had that man. moment. Yeah, he's a tender family man in all the other movies. Yeah. It felt so out of place. Mm. It was super, super weird. He does everything for his family. Like, what? It's just yeah, it was really weird. Um, uh, another moment that was really odd, but actually, I actually didn't mind it. But it was super, super inconsiderate to just Russians generally. Was the boot scene? Where they go to the club and they're opening the cars, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. every yeah. car has yeah. like the one had dead bodies in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's like, oh man, I was, I was like, wow, yeah. this is making yeah. the country look horrible yeah. for no reason. Um, the darkest blue day for night drive I've ever seen mm. as well. Super dark. Um, uh. Yeah, the moment that they finally have where they get out of the car in Chernobyl mm. and it's supposed to be this touching tender moment with him mm. and Jai. And by the way, they have all the character development for those two in like the span of maybe like 10 minutes. Because if you look at it, they have that weird moment where he's being like really sadistic to his son and saying, you know, belittling him. Mm. And then it's not only that, but pretty much almost specifically just after it is when he's like, at the car in Chernobyl and they're like having that moment of like, I've had a really good day. It's been really nice. Yeah. And you're like, this doesn't work (laughs) at all. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. And finally, for this whole thing, that end conversation with the walkout is the worst walkout conversation I've ever seen in a fucking movie. I can't remember what happened that. Where they walk out and he's just like, uh, you know, I'm... I'm Jack Jr. and you know, John Jr. and you're John Sr. And it, it's just, it's so bad I can't even remember moments of it's it. It's terrible. Yeah. Even in the, the pool scene, he goes, did you call me dad? Did you know yeah, that? Yeah. Yeah. It, ah. It's just, it's just, it was heaps laid back for me. I, I, I did not like it. Yeah. Uh, and it was just really for, everything was really, forced. Like, really forced. I know you didn't like the Die Hard 4 ending, mm. but this was. This was worse. Way worse. Die Hard 4 is better than this movie. <laughs> yeah, but even that ending <laughs> where like, yeah, sure, you have that moment where she's like, did he, did he say anything? Yeah. That's more interesting than what happens at the end of this movie for sure. Just yeah, like- but they're both cheese as hell. This one's worse. So much cheesier. Yeah, you know, this is they- like, that was like a, um, that was like a brie cheese and this was like <laughs> craft singles. <laughs> craft singles. It's che- cheese. Plastic. Cheese cheese. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, when they, when they arrive at Chernobyl, right? Yeah. There's like, I don't know, there's heaps of people there. Somehow they just appear inside this building. Yeah. It's there, like, there's so many There's so many uh, goons. Who they wipe out? They, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Like, there's maybe like five people I think they actually take out. Yeah. Um, even there's some in buildings around it that aren't even... They're just wandering in the buildings, yeah. the goons. It's weird. That's the weirdest part of it, that they actually enter the building from some other direction and there's like six goons inside of just a random part of the building. Yeah. Like it's Chernobyl. What the, who the fuck is there? Mm. Like, <laughs> like, just stay in the one location. <laughs> anyway, um, that's everything I think I, for the thoughts on the film. Do you want a fun fact on Chernobyl? Yeah, the vegetation that got hit by the blast, like the closest part of the blast, mm. actually now grows better than the vegetation that didn't get hit. Really? Yeah. Mm. I don't know why that yeah. is. Don't know. Cool. Fun fact. <laughs> there you go. Fun fact. Dance, dance, dance fun fact. Fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> um, all right. Top three scenes. <laughs> Declan's thinking of it in his You head. know what? You, you always get the top three, se- three scenes first. I'm going to go to Declan I've, with the top three. Literally, I, I, it's been a struggle. <laughs> Give me one, <laughs> like at least. Um, is one. there one moment in the movie you're like, that was okay? I, li- I honestly didn't really enjoy anything. At all? No. Um, None of the action? No. Wow. <laughs> this is no, third. like literally, I, I just found first. the action so just there. <laughs> He's struggling. I know. I was am. there an explosion you liked? <laughs> God, he's stumped. I right, don't mean to take. Do you mind? Yeah, you do yours. <laughs> okay. So, top scenes. The weirdest episode we've ever done. Uh, oh, it's it's not like the greatest movie. No, nah. this is this is easily the worst movie we've done on the series podcast. 
Oh, yeah, by far. Easily. I'm trying to think of any other movies. I can't movie. think. Even Pirates yeah, 4 and 5 are better uh, than this. Four. Pirates yeah. 4 and 5 are better than this. Yeah. You hammered Pirates 4 way harder than yeah, you hammered this. What's good, I guess. You get like a 4 or something. 3 or a 4. Yeah, that, no, that was a really bad movie. That this was, is way worse. This is way uh, worse. This is way worse, nah, is not, way worse than not that. For me. <laughs> not for me. Not for me. I went to hear your score, my friend. All right, so top three scenes. Okay. Uh, there's going to be a, a double here for the MVP. So... Not M- it's not MVP. It's top three. Yeah, no. But there's going to be a double up for me. Well, can we do the... Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, just do the... Yeah, okay. Why'd you tell me that? Why'd you tell us? Oh, actually, you just said it I'm not going to tell you which one's which. Okay. Okay. <laughs> top scenes will be... Uh, I just liked all the explosions. I thought they were cool. They felt really real. Okay. Yep. Um, and the slow-mo at the end when the chopper blows up. So you got them coming yeah, down. Yeah, jumping down. And go, the camera goes into the water. I thought that yeah. was really technically cool. Um, it's all CGI. Yeah, no, but this looks freaking sick. Yeah. And the stunt driver in the blue car. Stunt driver in the blue car. That's that 100%. He's going to be amazing. your MVP, MVP for sure. Yeah. That's, I'm not telling that's you. so blatantly the crossover. Uh, <laughs> you have the biggest you smile on your face. Just wait and find out. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hey, at least I got top three. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll I, say it I was a struggle. It was a struggle. I, can't, yeah. I literally, I started thinking and I was like, yeah, but I don't want to say that because I didn't. I still didn't like it. Yeah. Uh, fair <laughs> enough. I didn't like anything in this movie. That's fair enough. I think we, if you if it's that you haven't said anything that you've liked at all Actually, the the so far. Did you like it more than the room? Is the room? Rooms, yeah, but the room, the room is, is supposed least, to be bad. The room's at least funny. Yeah. Was, well, his ass. <laughs> Every time we mention the room, the you ass. mention his ass. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. I didn't know it was you. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. This is quotable. <laughs> um, <laughs> for me, uh, I, I like the truck off the bridge. I like all the big action moments, like Actually, the sorry, truck off the bridge. Before I forget, the heli kamikaze, and then the grenade. The, the grenade spread of the fire going off. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, Where was the yippee ki scene? I can't you remember. He died, yeah, he the, did it. Uh, the truck out of the... Yeah. It was horrible. Yeah, it was terrible. The truck out of the helicopter. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, was, that was a bad one. That was mm. the worst yippee ki yeah. by far. Why couldn't it have been when he was jumping out the window, giving yeah. the finger, or couldn't he have gone, yippee ki motherfucker? Yeah. 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 It was a heat sort of spot to have. Yeah, that's weird, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, you, your yippee ki has to be the Death. most poignant part. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it has to be. you got to do at least 50 backflips that's in why, the air. That's why. It, 10 that's forward it. flips. Yeah. Commando roll. When, you get, when you get hit by a bullet, you got to fly. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Like, that's what has to happen. Yeah. But I do, I do think that I still I stand by the best yippee ki so far is number four, shooting oh, through yourself. <laughs> I think the plane blowing up is probably the best one. Your one, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's pretty cool. Um, moving on. Uh, has it aged well? I'm just going to say it. No, no, it hasn't. Not this one horribly. aged the worst <laughs> out of all of them, too. It's insane. But not looks wise, I think it's it's not too bad with like the CG. Yeah. CG's I just good. don't think the. It's fine. I think the rest of it was uh, the, the ones it called it wasn't great. The it's grade a very is horrible. Story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very bland, mm. very vanilla. Um, okay, MVPs and weakest links. <laughs> You know what? Now, now you go first. Yeah. Uh, so, MVP. <laughs> He's got some ideas now. <laughs> <laughs> he just steals the blue the guy in the uh, blue. M- oh, <laughs> no, MVP goes to the shorter runtime, even though it still <laughs> felt long. Thank fuck it wasn't two hours. <laughs> it's only an hour and a half. There you go. See, um, that's positive. Fair enough. Yeah. Weakest link. Uh, even though I don't dislike him as an actor, just just try to caught in his character, man. It's just bad. Bleh, bleh. Right. He, he was giving no, given nothing. And also Sorry, double well. weakest link for trying to do callbacks to Gruber with his weak ass villain. <laughs> that pisses me off. <laughs> double weakest link. I've got two MVPs. Okay, go. The stone driver in the car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, what? what? A shock. what? <laughs> Kidding? And the most important one. The CIA or the government agency gets killed <laughs> Get off in five minutes. <laughs> Boom, gone. I was like, yes. Get yeah. rid of organizations. <laughs> they don't need to be there. <laughs> they listen. Fair enough. They listen. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. And your weakest link. Yeah, weakest link is the carrot. The carrot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's a fair one. Yeah. yeah also, he was only halfway through that carrot. He threw it away. Perfectly yeah, good carrot. That <laughs> <a winner. laughs> it was a perfectly good carrot. And there was no reference to Bugs Bunny. So Yeah. You know anyway. what? It's funny when I try to think of the weakest link now, I think of the most stupidest thing. Is what you do? See, I yeah. think the yeah. better the better in the better use ever for a carrot in a film is Clive Owen in Shoot 'em Up. I would say that. 
So yes. in Shoot 'Em Up, I the, the movie's remember. an action film, but it's supposed to be like a Looney Tunes movie. Yeah, right. Yeah. So he has a carrot and he's just like a sharpshooter. Yes. So he goes, oh, he cracks a carrot and then yeah, continues. Yeah, well, I just had to think that when you said that, wouldn't that have been a more, like that would have been a more interesting character quirk of his to walk in with the carrot and be like, hey, what's up, Doc? He's like, isn't that what yeah. you Americans say? Or something yeah. like that. He's like that. Straight away, more reason to have the carrot. It's more interest, more <laughs> intrigue already. <laughs> um, so for me, MVP is the special effects. I think the special effects hold up pretty well. I'm quite happy with this. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. fine. Um, I even think that like the jumping out and all looked really quite good. Even the the when the helicopters the the um, the rotors hit the side of the building, mm. they're flying everywhere. <laughs> it all looks still pretty good. Yeah. Uh, but the weakest link, I could not stand it. I couldn't stand how the music sounded like a bad Bond movie or a bad Mission Impossible movie. I noticed the music in these movies. And it was by far the worst I've ever heard in like a, a just a generic action. Yeah, I can't film. even. I can't remember. Can't remember yeah. It's bad. That's how generic it was. I paid yeah. no mind. So that there <laughs> is by far my weakest link for this mm. film. Yeah. All right. Let's get into the. Uh... But yeah, uh, we got to talk about cinematography. Yeah. Sack it or brisket. Dan's little cinematography corner here. A little context for new listeners. Uh, Sack it or brisket came from Dan's love of beef briskets. Check out the Enola Holmes episode and uh, the unique term to sack that if he doesn't like something. So is he going to sack this flick cinematography or make himself a beef brisket and love every morse, love its visuals? Oh, wow. I've decided. (laughs) Is that the music for this? You roll your eyes at me when I do all this. (laughs) I've decided because you guys have been hammering me. I'm going to get tougher on my cinematography corner good okay yeah yeah <laughs> good <laughs> uh, yeah I think that's a good idea yeah. and um and I'm gonna change it where if it's standard it's mm. not a brisket okay yeah no that makes right. sense I think it also needs to be if it's not you've been doing it more so where you're like well technically it's good cinematography yeah. it should be do, do you like it yeah mm. okay yeah so getting into it it is standard mm-hmm and I think the use of the shaky cam was just too much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Uh, it was crazy shaky. Yeah, at the beginning, it's it, towards the end is. And yeah, the it was grade okay. is horrible. Yeah. I'm sorry. That didn't really bother me much. I, I noticed it, it was like it's just a thing back then, mm. um, and it's the you know, look that they're going for. So this is going to be my first sack. That. No, you sacked you Die sack- Hard One. Yeah. Oh, did I? Yeah. Yeah. No, I think I still gave it a brisket. No, you sacked no, it. You sacked it. Did I? Because yeah. I still can't oh, yeah. believe you sacked it. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'll probably sack all of these. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Retro. Yeah. Retro sack. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Retrospective. Yeah. Bringing it back. Yeah, that just... I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of... There's a lot of... Yeah, the brisket ones, it's going to be like... They'll, they'll be up there. Yeah. So I'm changing my school. For me, my reasoning for being shocked at you sacking Die Hard 1 was because I thought it did a lot of like purposeful more interesting things with its camera work than these future movies have done like mm. Die Hard 4 to me was like it looked like it just looked like you know it's professionally made but yeah. it just looks and that's not me going like oh the cinematography is shit it's just like for me it doesn't stand out it just mm. it just looks like any other action movie yeah. Die Hard 1 they were, they were doing interesting purposeful movements with the camera which yeah. you don't see in action movies these I, days I, I do have yeah. to say they were having a crack yeah I just find yeah. though the movie's Back then, they were doing more purposeful camera moves. Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah. That's obvious, like, and that's coming from. Per- I haven't watched like yeah. a whole. I don't watch movies from the eighties. Those action movies yeah. a lot. So but, for me, that was like, oh, that's pretty unique. Yeah, yeah. I just mm. find uh, cinematography these days. If you're good, you're fucking good. Mm. Like, mm. you look at Chivo and all those at like Deacons and all. But that. they're 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 the top. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah, so you're looking at pinnacle. They'll be my briskets. They're like the Michael Jordans and the Kobe Bryant's yeah, of the cinematography like it's just, world. It's like, like some of the shots. It's like that holy doesn't mean. Shit. I think I think it has to be what you like. But look yeah. at look at it um, can't be like just because it's those guys. It's going to be a brisket. No, no, no I'm just saying. No. Look at the Danny Boyle's one we just did recently. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was beautiful. Like again, the grade was just plain. But the shots and composition. Yeah, but they did something unique really with that. Yeah, like it, it wasn't. Worked. It didn't. It wasn't just so that's like still, a, that's a brisket. Yeah, it's weird. But I didn't really think a big highly of that. But that's just me. Yeah, I, I thought they did it. I thought it was yeah, a bit more interesting good, yeah. than a standard rom com. 
personally. Yeah. Like, mm. Usually just they're in wide. They just do wide and then over the shoulder shots. Where there's yeah, doing there they use the buildings. They use everything yeah. just for the line, leading lines. It's really good. Yeah. yeah. And it had like a real pastel-y yeah. vibe to it as yeah. well. Which, yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. It's Fair good. enough. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. That's my segment. Okay. So you've nice. sacked all of the Die Hard movies. Well, yes, I have. Big hey, call. Man. Big <laughs> call, man. This is my segment. All right. Well, uh, let's move on to... Uh, Decking with Declan, because I'm sure you have a few people to deck in this film. Yeah, I punch every um, motherfucker in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in this wow. segment, Declan informs us on some of Hollywood's behind the scenes cast or crew fights, as well as tells us who he wants to deck in the movie. I think you've already done that. <laughs> <laughs> and, Everyone. The end. Um, I have a little surprise for you for the segment this right. week. Right. In line. With the twist theme of Die Hard, I'm doing a twist on Declan with Declan. Yeah. I'm actually going to tell a positive story. Oh, from okay. Behind the scenes from instead Dust. of a fight. Who you shake Die hands Hard. with instead of Deck. Yeah. Because <laughs> I think sometimes it's nice to have a bit of positivity. After we after we rewatched yesterday, I've been listening to the Beatles again. I was like, Dad. A lot of negativity coming from me on this segment. So. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Um, catch me if you can. Yeah, mm-hmm. sorry, Leonardo DiCaprio. Yep, classic. Steven Spielberg film. Um, Amy Adams. Mm-hmm. Have you guys have seen the movie? She yeah, plays yeah, the yeah. like sort of like easily led yep. woman that Leo cons mm. to marry. Yep. yep. She in an interview, and this like reinforces the whole thing of like Spielberg seems like a legend. Mm. <laughs> she was like struggling to portray the character in the way that she wanted to portray her. Mm. And she was like losing a lot of confidence in herself and in the scene and everything. And like apparently Spielberg wasn't saying anything to her. He was just kind of going like, yeah, we'll do it. We'll go again. We'll go. And she was freaking out and she was so intimidated working with Spielberg. And he kind of like pulled her aside and he's like, what do you, you know, how are you feeling? She's like, I just don't, I can't, I can't crack this. I don't know how to do this. Like mm. I'm not feeling the character. And she said that he, he held both hands and looked her like straight in the eyes and was like, your character has so much love to give. And she said she just like really started crying at like his kindness and like yeah. his thoughts on the character. And then she was just like, boom, I'm good to go. Uh, and wow. I was like, what yeah. a master. <clears throat> yeah. And the opposite of Stanley Kubrick. Oh my God. Yeah. I was thinking that exactly <laughs> the same thing. I was thinking that. Yeah. Which is weird because Kubrick was an idol of Spielberg's, but they have so, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like different people just have different leadership yeah. strategies. Like, so this also makes me think you've hit the point where I feel like you've decked probably enough people. Yeah, I'm happy to do more positive stuff. So, I think, I think <laughs> yeah. maybe we should find th- a new segment for yourself at this point in time <laughs> yeah. because the Hollywood stories have hit their hit their peak, I think. Oh, it hit the peak way when, we hit, when we, hit, um, when we got to Kubrick's yeah, as well. Yeah. There's way more out there, but they're more, um, there's more that are like... like tiffs. They're tiffs and they're more like with not as famous people. Mm. Yeah. And they're more like there's so much backstory to them and stuff where it's like... Yeah. I got a wealth the, of knowledge about I, like weird director behind the scenes. I still stuff. can't believe when you told me that uh, is it I heart Huckabees. Or, yeah, that's the most oh, insane. Yeah. That's, that's the, hectic, fucking yeah. crazy. That's if you if you just Google life. top Hollywood fights. That's like the one that everyone yeah, talks about. Insanity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is like uh, that's just firing right there. Yeah, type of stuff. And then there's other ones that are like too hectic, mm. like the Marlon Brando one yeah. With the yeah stick of butter that's mm. i don't really want to go into that one <laughs> yeah. i don't like this nah. yeah. um yeah so I, i'm happy to bring a bit more positivity <laughs> yeah, that's fine. well next week we'll have a new 2021 it's a new it's a new, uh, <laughs> new year yeah like 2020 was rough for everyone let's, let's bring, some bring joy. it up let's make 2021 some joy a good one <laughs> well um We've done some some joy now, but let's move it into uh, some information, mm. some facts. Um, Declan, you want to give me the factoids? Yeah. <clears throat> Welcome to the factoids presented to you by Mercedes Benz. <laughs> Fuck. Did anyone else notice that every car every was a Mercedes? Was a Mercedes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good one. Ooh, wow. That was a good one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> It was a good day to buy a Mercedes. <laughs> In that car chase, every car, even the truck was a Merc. It was yeah, crazy. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Uh, filming of the M124 uh, hind helicopter firing scenes took place at a military shooting range where Major Peter Simon, Air Operations Commander of Z- 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 Zol- Zolnok... 
I can't even pronounce it. Solnok Hel- Helicopter Base, Hungarian Air Force, <laughs> um, operated the gunships and the auto cannons and rockets with live ammunition to make sure the shooting effects will be as realistic as possible. Okay. Background and targets were applied in post production. Oh. So it was an actual real yeah, that, that gunshot. Looked, it looked yeah, right. sick, yeah. Uh, the Russian gang had no actual Russian members. The roles were played by Slovakian, Hungarian, Serbian, Mongolian, and Ukrainian actors. Whoa. There you go. The largest helicopter in the film is a M126. It is also the largest and most powerful helicopter ever produced. Hmm. There's a lot of helicopter facts. Couldn't handle a truck on the back of it. Though. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Um, the core idea for the film, the dynamic between John McClane and his son, came from Bruce Willis. Wow. <laughs> uh, this is shot with Super 35. Oh, and what? with a serious traditional 239-1 scope aspect ratio, initially in mind, director John Moore reframed the film to 185-1 uh-huh. um, after deciding the opening cast chase sequence looked better that way. Yeah. He also believed that the 185 ratio would better accommodate the handheld camera work in various scenes. Oh, you see more image, eh? Yeah. <laughs> for the whole movie, Budapest stands in for Moscow. Yeah, right. How weird is that? That's weird, yeah. Huh? It would have been hard for Americans to film in Russia. Yeah, it would be, yeah. 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 Um, uranium-235 is a rare isotope of uranium-238 with atoms that contain the same number of protons but fewer neutrons. Weapons-grade uranium is refined uranium-235 containing less than 15% of 238. Well, wow, that's been all my mad jumbo to me. Yeah. Really? It's like, what the hell is that? So what it's saying is, is that um, uranium-235 is the rare compound. Yeah. And 238 is like uh, not so rare. It's not the, the most refined one. Right. 235, there's 85% of it is the weapons grade. So right. 85% of weapons grade uranium is 235 compound, the rare compound. Yep. And then the last 15% is the more common compound, okay. the, the shitter, which is crazy. That's like super... Mm. type of stuff um uh the original title was die hard 24 7 but this was rejected on the grounds it would cause confusion with the tv show 24 what a stupid yeah, name though. that's I why know. that's why you don't call it that yeah i know <laughs> wow because it's a shit name oh. um the hell uh so we've got the whole we already know that one. The John McClane, his name is Jack in it. Yeah. But he only has literally three seconds from the film where he's named John. John, yeah. Uh, and Marco Beltrami, because I'm so caught up on this goddamn score, <laughs> only had six weeks to compose the score for the film. God. Which that makes a lot of sense mm. to me. Hans could do it one day. It's true. Just saying. This is true. <laughs> Obviously not, but anyway. He'd, he'll do it probably in one day and he'd probably make it 10 times better, I can tell you that. I would say Bruce Willis ban him from making any creative decisions because yeah. it oh. seems like I would have been more interested to see the Kevin Smith scene from the last movie, the original yeah. draft that he said was too funny. So much and that better. And father-son dynamic. It's the yeah. worst. Terrible. <laughs> At least the Lucy McLean thing felt realistic in the fourth one, a little bit more like, mm. you know, the cop tracking down his daughter and trying to you know make mm. sure she's okay and mary elizabeth Over. winstead is a good actress so good. So. <laughs> yeah mm. that as well yeah um final thoughts dan you start off with this one <sighs> final thoughts dan. this is gonna be a tough one because i think you guys are gonna drop my score down a bit <laughs> as a Die hard. Don't 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 use us as like a. Well, after talking about, because I didn't talk about it for anyone. I know, but you. Okay, I originally had it down as a six. Okay. So just pass. Yeah. I'm probably gonna give it a five point five. All right. And if it comes down, because I've been giving you die hard scores. Mm. So basically, anything outside die hard one, mm. maybe take off two points for each of the scores. If it's if it's a die hard. You're going to get rid of everything. But you ranked by one two of them points. higher than Die Hard 1. Yeah, I did. Did I? I can't remember. No, you put yeah, this no, four no, at the no, same. No, one equal. Height. Four was equal. 
Why are you putting two points down for all of them? Because if I, because I went to these movies, because I knew that they're not going to be diehard movies. They're not. It's just they could. You're saying that diehard. You're going to put if two I points down it, on diehard. No, 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 no. Everything except for one and four, he wants to deduct two points from. No, that every, means no, you're putting everything. If I if I rate these as diehard movies, like a diehard franchise movies. Yeah. Right. Bar the first one because it's the original. Mm. Everything. So past two, three, one. four, and five lose two points. But that's crazy. That's like then you're putting two at four point five out of ten. Because it's not. It wasn't as good as the first one. But that's way more of a diehard movie than pretty much <coughs> three onward. If you and think I won't, about it, and I won't watch it again. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to do the calculations and all that. <laughs> no, you don't need to. Anyway, this one's a 5.5. A 5. If I'm going to rank, if I'm going to rank it, a part of the Die Hard franchise, it'd be like a 3.5. Six is a six is you watch it again, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, so just four. So I originally had it at so, six, but yeah, after right. talking about it, it's like, oh, yeah, there's too many stupid things in this. So Dan's five. rundown of this: Die Hard one, seven point five. Die Hard two, yeah. six point five. Die Hard three, seven. Die Hard 4, 7.5, and Die Hard 5, 5.5. Yeah. That's, that's, right. that seems that's pretty right. on the level, yeah. yeah. actually. So, Declan. Yeah. Um, <laughs> actually, that's my first probably sub six score in a long time. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I hated this movie. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put it at number five, all right? Here's my ranking. <laughs> yeah. Officially. Number five, Die Hard Five. Number Makes four, sense. Die Hard Four. Number three, Die Hard Two. Yeah. Number two, Die Hard Three. And number one, well and above the rest Everything of them. Else. And Die Hard Five well and below the rest yeah. of them. Yeah. I think that makes sense, yeah. Number that, one. And I number think one. that is yeah. the common score mm. like i think most people having watched this I think series most people are number four at number two one three really yeah a lot of people did yeah. Uh, yeah. but yeah I'd, i would definitely say i think a lot of people like vengeance a lot of people would put with a vengeance i think because it's got samuel yeah. jackson in it as well he's a yeah a big yeah. star but damn that fourth act Every time I think yeah, about it now, shit. I'm like, that's super weird. Yeah. Yeah. It is the worst fourth act I've ever seen. And when, when I thought about it, like, I, I didn't think number two was a particularly good movie and I thought it was super corny, but I I laughed and enjoyed myself in it more than I did with yeah. four and five. Like, I, I found them... I, I, four I was harsh on last week, but it was definitely better than this movie. This movie I just found to be joyless. Like, yeah. I, just, I yeah. just didn't... There I, was nothing in Yeah, it. I just find... I just get frustrated. The first one's good. The second one... It's just got free reign and that really pisses me off. Mm. Yeah, I hate that. It's just yeah. a massive flaw in the whole franchise. Well, the franchise. only thing I hate about two, number two... See, but number one, he's, is he's locked in there. How much everyone is like, a clone, get out, a clone. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, bro, yeah, just let it go. So it like, but it had, it had moments that I just were like, this is so ridiculous, but it's funny. Like the just like, Uzi moment they in, just the, didn't in the building? Yeah. Oh. The but at least that was still entertaining. <laughs> Bang! Yeah. McLean's dead. Oh. That, at least that was still like funny, you know. It's like yeah. The, yeah so, well, uh, do we just put all the scores together now and just do the final like roundup of? Oh, what's your score? Mine. Yeah, this movie. Uh, I can tell you. Mine. Look, I, I wasn't really didn't really like the movie. I liked s- shots or scenes yeah. in this movie, and I think the relationship between him. Like, McLean and his son is possibly the worst relationships I've, I've, I've ever seen in a film. Mm. Um, so, I'm giving this a 5.5. Oh, yeah. Out of 10. I, I, it's, I, this is the movie of, like, the diehards where I pretty much would... If I've watched the movies, if I've watched one to four, or, and then I'm like... I can either leave it or I can mm. put it on in the background, but I would never sit there and focus on it mm-hmm. i can't I, this is the last time i'll ever do this with this movie yeah this yeah. is the last time i'll ever rewatch this movie with yeah the focus. we're not um we're not going to do the hard series again when six comes out <laughs> no i will no i will not there's no way on yeah. planet earth i will i will just watch six and be like revert back to these yeah, if exactly. i have to yeah but these yeah. are done they got they've like i said after the first one they should have stopped there yeah it doesn't it, that character doesn't belong anywhere else. Yeah, it no. works because he's confined, but he can't get out. 
Yeah. And that's why it's, you know, it's also good just shit to know that him and Holly are fully like apart and everything after the end of the yeah, first movie. Yeah, like, all that effort for no reason. I know it's like more to, realistic, but you, you, you don't want realism in these movies, yeah. do you? Like, yeah, no, they're no. not realistic about anything else, so why? Yeah. And what well, works in that one, they were broken at the beginning and yeah. it's fixed at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do we want to do the final full scores of it? Nah. No. Nah. Nah. Yeah, may as well just do it. Oh, yeah. Right. It's going to take a bit. I just got to punch him in. Um, can we make some conversation? <laughs> what are we going to do the next? <laughs> next series. What yeah. is the next series going to be? Yeah, what are we? Are we just, Star Wars? Well, we talked about oh, no, like Planet Star Wars, of the Apes. Apes. Oh, yeah, the Apes. Planet of the Apes. What was another one? Oh, we could, oh, was, we could do Mission Impossible too. Oh, oh that's a long one. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good one as well. Yeah. Um. So Dan, yours is thirty-four out of fifty. Yeah. So what would that make it in percentage-wise? Thirty-four. Um, it's like seventy, is it? Uh, out of fifty. Divided by fifty. No, that's not how you do it. No. How do I do I it can't, again? Uh, wait, cancel this because I don't yeah. want my bad maths to be on. <laughs> <laughs> don't you do it out of a hundred, then times fifty? Is that uh, what it is? Yeah. Well, it's 50. Nah. It's out of 50. 50. So, it's, it's just 68. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. We should have just oh, known yeah. that. No, I thought I said yes. Yeah, so, it's 68 out of 100. 6.8 out of 10. Yeah. Cut this part out. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, and mine is 9... We have to wrap 7 up plus 1.5 plus 8 plus 5.5 equals yeah. 37. Oh, yeah. So, it's what... Uh, 74. 74, yeah. That's, I think that sits around where the series should stay. I would even actually, nah. honestly, I'd probably even put it lower. Yeah, six. I'd probably put it like a six and a half, yeah. seven. Yeah. So, yours is closer to what yeah. I would actually probably have the whole series on. Yeah. 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 It's an average series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. And it gets- starts, starts high and then it gets average. Yeah. yeah. So, final scores, 37 out of 50 for me, 34 out of 50 for Dan and... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for mm. Die Hard. I'm, mm. I'm gonna. I don't even want to do the series wrap up for this. No, honestly. we won't do another no. one. I don't want to. <laughs> I think we've said our piece for yeah. for yeah. Die Hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right, let's wrap it up. You've been listening to Neon Radio podcast. We just finished the Die Hard series. A good day to Die Hard for uh, Die Hard Five. Um, uh, I'm Reese. I'm Dan. As it's the last one, it's finally time to say I'm Declan. You pick I, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and. You have a good week. Respect. Respect.